Today I'm going to demonstrate an effective method for checking for varroa mites. In the UK, varroa mites kill more honeybee colonies than any other pest or disease combined. Checking for varroa mites is probably one of the most important things a beekeeper can do. If you don't check, you can't treat accordingly and also you can't tell how effective your treatments have been. The method I'm going to demonstrate is an alcohol wash. The unfortunate side of this method is it does involve killing 300 bees. However, it is a very accurate way of testing, scientifically well recognised, and on the scale of things it's very few bees, and it could mean the difference of saving a colony that would have otherwise died out. Okay, so we've moved into the apiary, let's take a look at what we need. There's four things we need to carry out this method. We need a bowl of some kind to shake the bees into. We need a half cup scoop. This is a store-bought mite checking device, but you can make your own, but it consists of a cup, a lid, and a basket inside to suspend the bees. And of course, our alcohol. So I'm gonna tap the bowl and knock all the bees into the corner of the bowl. I'm gonna take a scoop of bees, level it off. It's important that the scoop is level, a level half cup. And I'm gonna chuck the bees into the alcohol. I'll then put the lid on and shake the bees in kind of a swilling motion for about a minute. You, can even, you can't go too long, so even maybe two minutes. And that will release the mites from the bees and you'll be able to count the mites through the bottom or you can remove the bees and have the device on a light coloured surface and you'll easily be able to count the mites in the bottom. So I'm looking for a good representative sample from the hive. So what I'm going to do is aim to go for a brew food frame or a pollen frame and on that frame, I'm going to find a broad range of masks, including young bees and older bees. So I get a good sample from the hive of all the casts across the colony. So I've been through the hive and I've got a good idea where the queen is. I know she's up this end of the hive. I've selected a pollen frame that's going to give us that broad range of casts. I've had a quick look just to make sure there's not another queen on there. I'm now going to shake it into the bowl, on end, one shake, I'm now just going to leave these bees for a second, let them spread out across the bowl, so I'm going to knock the sample of bees into the corner of the bowl, get my scoop, level the scoop off, bees in, it on, give it a shake, in a swirling motion. This can be done one to two minutes. So I've finished shaking the bees, we'll go out into the sunshine and count our mites. So we're back out in the sunshine, I've finished my shaking, now let's take a closer look. If this was above 3%, which would be 9 mites in this sample, I would start to consider the possibility of a treatment. I'd certainly be monitoring a bit closer from now on. Here we are in mid-May with our 1% infestation rate. I would expect that to climb considerably with brood production over the season. That in turn will increase your varroa loads. I'd be looking at resampling later in the year and adjusting my treatments accordingly.